fingerprint sensors are not enough and reliable for making your door lock system or even for our mobile phones. We always require a secondary system to unlock it. So hey guys, in this video, I will let you know how to make your own fingerprint based as well as the hex keypad based door lock and attendance system by using the ESP32 board. So let's get started. So for making this project, you'll require these all components and what if you don't have any of this component? Hey, don't worry, I have attached the link for all the components in the description of this video so you first purchase that component and make this project. So let's move on to the video, but hey, wait, are we missing out something? Yes, we are missing out the major component of the project which is the lock itself. So I already attached the lock with the door in such a way that as soon as the door gets closed, the lever of the locks get pulled out and the door gets easily locked with the help of the metal grill. So now to make the project, you need to combine all this component in this manner. Now as usual, due to the lot of connections, I just designed my own custom PCB and ordered it to GLC PCB. Now to order your own custom PCBs to GLC PCB, you first need to have the Gerber file of the project. Don't worry, I will attach the Gerber file of this project in the description of the video itself. So then download that Gerber file, upload it to GLC PCB, select the color masking if you want and place the order. Within a week, you will be getting the PCBs delivered at your doorstep. So try using your own custom PCBs from GLC PCB to make your project look neat and more compact. So after shouldering the components, the PCB look like this. Now here I use this female box strip for ESP32 and the male headers for the sensor, display and the hex keypad. Now before assembling all the components, let us move on to the coding of the project. So this is the code used for this project and trust me, this code is very, very big. So I won't be going into detail about the code, but still I will let you know what changes you need to make in this code and which library you require for uploading this code, okay? So first of all, in the enroll.h header file, all the libraries are mentioned. So you need to download these all libraries whose link is attached in the code itself. So not an issue. Uh, moving on to the finger.h header file. So first of all, the SID name and password are mentioned here, which is necessary to make the ESP32 board talk to internet. Moving ahead, we have the event name and the webhooks key variables. Now these two variables are necessary to make the attendance system. Now in this video, I won't be going into detail on how to make that attendance system because hey, I already made a separate and dedicated video previously. So if you missed out that video, do watch that video on to know on how this attendance system works. I will mention the link for that in the description as well as the i button as well. And hey, do subscribe the channel so that you never miss my upcoming videos, okay? Moving ahead, we have one more variable which is secret code, okay? Now secret code in my case is 1234. Now this code is used to unlock the door using the keypad. Yes, our system has two ways to unlock the door. First is the fingerprint of course, and second is using that hex keypad. So by tapping one, two, three, four in the hex keypad, the door will also get unlocked easily, okay? So you can change the code according to your need here in the secret code variable. That's it about the changes you need to make in the code. Just click on the right board and port and hit the upload button. Now moving on to the packaging part, so for making the enclosure of the system, I use this old switchboard box and attach the PCB and the sensors in it. And for the keypad and the display, I use this thick cardboard sheet. After assembling all the components properly, I just attach this switchboard box outside the studio near to the door. So for the lock, I just pulled out the wires from the wall in such a way that even if the door gets opened or closed, the wire won't get tangled. After confirming all the connection, I attached this thick cardboard sheet with the help of the screws and now our project is ready for some actions. Now as this project got a lot of features, I need to show you a little demo on how to use it. So first of all, let's start with enrolling our fingerprints. For that, turn on the device. So as soon as we turn on the device, it will first try to connect to the router. Okay, if the router is available, it will get connected to it. And in case if router is not at all available, don't worry, it won't get connected, but still your security system will be running. After all the steps of the connection, a small fingerprint icon will be shown on the screen, which reveals that this system is now activated and waiting for the valid fingers. 
but initially you won't be having any valid fingers inside the system so we need to enroll the fingers for that just press and hold that C button and it will take you to the enrollment mode now as soon as you press the C button you see the code is displayed on the screen so it is expecting us to enter the secret code now why I have provided a secret code here see if I haven't provided a secret code any random person can go to the enrollment mode, enroll their fingers and come to the studio which I generally won't be preferring okay and for that I put the security level here so before enrolling we need to enter the password so in my case it is 1234 so I will type that password and press this hash button to enter it so now it is in enrollment mode now here we need to define the ID on which we need to enroll our fingerprint so we can type any digit from 1 to 127 so I will type as um, 55 okay so after typing 55 I will press this hash button to enter okay now follow the step shown in the screen place finger remove finger place that same finger again okay print match. So you have successfully enrolled your fingerprint into the ID 55. After successfully enrolling the fingerprint, the system will go back to the initial stage. Now if I put that same finger, the system will recognize it and it will unlock the door. Now here one thing you have noticed that it is showing that registered. So there are two possibilities, it will show registered or it will show not registered depending upon the internet connection. So if the system is connected to internet, it will register your fingerprint data to the Google sheet. So that will make the attendance with the proper ID. And if the system has no internet connection, it won't be registering your fingerprints to the sheet, but it will still unlock the door. So I programmed the system in such a way that it should work with internet and it should also work without internet, okay? So moving on to the next feature, which is the maze lock mode. Consider if any guest is coming to the studio, so you won't be enrolling everyone's fingerprint in the system. For that, I have put this maze lock mode in which the guest can enter the studio by entering the password. And to go to the maze lock mode, you need to press and hold the button A. Okay, so here is the maze lock mode. Now here you need to enter the secret code in which, which in my case is 1234. After that press hash and the door will get unlocked. Now here also it shows registered and not registered. So for the guest, I put a particular ID 200. So if the door gets unlocked with the help of the secret code, this system will put the attendance with the ID 200 on the sheet. So with that unique ID, we can easily reveal that uh, how many times the door was unlocked with the help of the code and how many times the door was unlocked with the help of the fingerprint. So this was another feature. And one more feature I have added in the system is the back button. Suppose you are in the maze lock mode and you, do, and you want to go back to the initial fingerprint mode, just press the B button and you will be back to that fingerprint mode and the same case applies to the enrollment mode as well. If you are in the enrollment mode and if you want to go back to that uh, fingerprint mode without enrolling the fingerprints, don't worry, just press the B button and you will be back to that fingerprint mode. So I tried to make this system as stable as possible. So yeah, these were all the features which I programmed for this project. I hope you loved it. If yes, do show your love by liking this video right now. Do let me know your suggestion in the comment of the video regarding what more features I can, you know, put in this system and I will surely update the code for that. So yeah, ending the last video of 2019 here. Do let me know which was the best video or which was the video you liked the most on the Techie SMS in the 2019. Do let me know that video in the comments of this video. Subscribe my channel if you don't want to miss out many, many amazing projects coming up in the next year. And just wait for my next one. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.